hello guys and welcome back to my channel this is my second studio vlog pretty much gonna get straight into it today because last intro was longer than I wanted thank you to those who have watched my last one uh, today gonna give you a quick update of my studio space because the desk area is pretty much done now and looking fab if I say so myself you might have seen some sneak peeks if you do follow me on Instagram so make sure you are I'll link that down below so quick tour today and then we are gonna tackle this bad boy down here it's a world map on like a cork board and I thought it'd be really cool to like map where like my orders are going from Etsy I'm not gonna be able to get them all especially on Australia because Australia is quite small <laughs> like small on the map and majority of my orders would go to Australia so I'm gonna map as many as I can just kind of want to have a nice cute visual so I got some pins to do that and then I might chuck in some time lapses for you because I've been doing a lot more art than I had before this before this before I had this room <laughs> um yeah so we'll get on with the tour first and okay then... here's an update of my room the lighting is still terrible I've got light on light on light on uh, this area is pretty much the same dog bag pretty much just lives in here now this print is from Sarah Faber and I will link her below this mandala piece is mine that was up there last time just put some stuff along the shelf but this is my favorite area so this is looking very different to last time some of you would have seen this area or parts of this area if you do follow me on Instagram yes this area and this area are now pretty much done so I've got like some prints and originals up the top down to some oils and crystals that's pretty much the same here I've just got like some different books and stuff Derwent pencils some random pencils just random stuff this is pretty much like watercolor paper stuff and down here is some um, coloring books good old connector pens and then the two on the left are some sharpies on top and then there's some like embossing powder and paint pens in those two containers but I've still got some room down there to play with but yes I'm loving this area this light really doesn't light up much of the area but it looks cute so that's why I've kept that so in here I've just got some crappy paints random stuff in there this drawer I've just got a hard drive in there at the moment this top drawer bucket load of washi tape <laughs> I got some more as well because look oh, once again if you follow me on Instagram you would have already seen this but I always put washi tape on my orders like just to double seal the envelopes so if you order something you might be getting this tape on it yeah that's pretty much the same those are mine that was something from a secret Santa swap last year uh, this was like a little extra that I got from dreamy moons that's dreamy moons that is dreamy moons as well as this book and this really cute little card here love that but I'll link I'll link all of these places down below um that's mine 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 this was also part of secret Santa swap that was from I've had a blank studio blue designs so I'll link her below she has some awesome stuff this was from an Adelaide artist can't remember her name it was quite recent but I'll find her and link her just got some brushes just some crystals here because why not I got a lot of them so why not spread them around and then you over here is all of my paint supplies this is kind of like the dark corner because this is outside and as you can see it's like enclosed because we're in Australia in summer we get lots of snakes um, unfortunately so this is like the cat run in summer where they're actually allowed to go <laughs> they don't use it but it gets quite dark so got my Windsor and Newton there got my Bombay's like seriously the satisfaction of that is just rainbow order is amazing my hydras up here and I seriously wish there was more places in Australia to buy these <laughs> bought them from an art shop once and they don't really stock them anymore 
Uh, this is just all of my different like, colour swatches, just so I can have that out. I have my two Prima palettes just sitting on a little command hook. I just have some random stuff up here. And then over here I have my Cotman's and my Viva sheets. Viva? No, Viva. Never know how to say that properly. And some cute little paint brush holders kind of scattered as well. So yeah, that is my little art space. Hello from my floor. Well, I was just about to start doing the board, but I got some post. It doesn't say who it's from or where, but I think it's my secret Santa. I think. So if you did want to see what was in this envelope, um, a whole bunch of artists from around the world sent one another like a secret art thing really. Uh, we had like a little thing that we filled in of what colours and styles and different artists we like. So if you did want to see what this was, I'm so intrigued that there's a fat part. I don't think I've ordered anything else. You know what, guys? We're gonna open it. We were meant to wait till Christmas. Shh. I'm just gonna have a sneak peek to see if it is actually the secret Santa, because I don't want it not to be. <laughs> just have this random. It is, and it's wrapped, so I can properly open it. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it like this now so I don't know who this is from but I'm so excited it does feel like some sort of notebook Ooh. oh no I know what this is this is my calendar from Studio Blue Designs yay so that's why I was like, mm, why has it got blinding? Sorry guys, that was a whole lot of nothing. But do stay tuned for when I do actually get my secret Santa. So cutely wrapped. Oh. Like stuff like that makes me so happy. Um, do follow me on Instagram for when I do show what I got for secret Santa. And follow the hashtag, I think it's like secret Santa art swap 18 possibly. Um... To see what everyone's getting but we they're meant to be waiting until christmas some people have already got theirs others are already waiting because you know postage around christmas time is not that fun ah. oh, so cute now i'm definitely displaying this because the exchange rate between us dollars and australian dollars when i bought this was not nice most expensive calendar I think I have ever bought but it's so gorgeous it comes on this little stand so it stands on your desk like that and it's like a double um so it's only got six sheets because they're I'll show you on this one because it's double so like when it comes to December I'll turn it around that way type of thing oh I love her work it's so cool and like blue is my color so there we are. There's a slight interruption on the vlog. Blue Botanicals calendar. Oh, if you're not following her, go follow her. Anyway, what we're actually going to do now is we're going to do this. Um, I did actually get two sets. I've got, I got coloured and I got white. I was going to use coloured for digital orders online for like my digital reading trackers and stuff. But you don't know where that's going. <laughs> so we're just going to like track the physical items that I send off through my Etsy store. Um, so essentially what I'm doing is I'm going back into like my completed orders. Just copying like the postcode where they are because I ain't getting that specific. Um, and then putting it into Google Maps just so I can find like the, the closest kind of area. Um, and then... I'll add a pin. Um, so 
I'm gonna time lapse you now because otherwise this is gonna take forever. This has gone for a ridiculously long vlog now after I wanted it to make a short one. So if you've listened to my ramblings, well done. Give me the winky face emoji down below if you actually listen to this part. Otherwise, let's get into the time lapse. <laughs> finished board as you can tell they're kind of very like yeah. so there's like there's a lot around that that's just all the pins I could fit need to tackle Tassie in New Zealand though one in Malaysia a few in the UK France can't remember what that one was a fair few in the States it's quite interesting though that they're all like around the edge though like they're not in the center and then these five are Canada so yeah yeah not all the orders but most of the places as close as I could get <laughs> how the board goes um, and how many pins I can actually get on there um, I'll link on my Etsy and that below I am gonna be asking some questions on my Instagram about what sort of things people would like to see in these vlogs whether you would like real-time galaxy type of things um, whether you want some more time-lapse slower time-lapses um, so if you're not following me there you should be uh, the one for this cat is Simple Colour Beauty and then I have my personal one as well. They'll both be linked below as well as my Etsy shop and I think that's pretty much everything. Every um, like artist or something that I mentioned as well I am going to link down below. But yeah, thanks for watching my second studio vlog. Um, we're pretty much set up now so uh, yeah, I am going to see you guys next time. See ya! So, there we go. I'm gonna... No.